Welcome to The Lisa B Show, the podcast where we talk about finding Mr. Right, the new rules of love, masculine and feminine energy, and all things women. This is Lisa B, and in this week's episode, I'll be talking all about self-love and why we must love ourselves. I'll also be talking about how we feel loved. In my book, Banish the Bitch and Bring Out the Babe, I refer to it as the four love buckets. Today's sponsor of The Lisa B Show is Inspired Health and Happiness. Lori is a qualified health coach, certified detox specialist, certified nutritional therapist, among many, many other things. And she's also a chef. If you're looking at feeling healthy and happy again, and you want to feel full of energy, then look up Lori. Go to www.inspiredhealthandhappiness.com. When you're in your feminine energy, love and connection are your greatest needs and the first thing that you need to address. What is love? And how do we even feel loved? Let me explain. There are four ways that we can feel loved. The first one is self-love. Self-love is the only love that we can control. It's the only love that we can fully 100% rely on. And it's okay to love yourself. It really is. Self-love is the feeling of knowing who you are at your core. Self-love is not external. It's not ego. It's about recognizing that you've been through good times and bad. And it's accepting you for who you are. Self-love is very much an internal love. Now, the other ways that we can feel loved is from external sources, which brings me to the second type of love, the love from others. This could be friends, family, or even work colleagues. The third type of love is love from an intimate partner. The fourth type of love is the love from children or pets. And sometimes we do look for love in all the wrong places. Here's the important part. The last three ways to feel loved are from external sources, meaning you can not control these, no matter how hard you try, because at different times in your life, people will take their love away from you through no fault of your own. And at different points in time, these external sources may have felt full of love, some were overflowing, then one day it may have stopped abruptly. If all of your external sources get taken away at once, it can feel dreadful. It can make you feel sad, empty. If we only focus on external love, that's the risk we take. This love is outside of our control. It is love outside of us. Because remember, you can't control other people and how they feel. You can only control how you feel about the situation. This is why it's very important for you to focus on your own love wholeheartedly first. Your love is the only love that you can control, so guard it with your life. And remember, you still have plenty of love to go around, but your default position needs to be that you focus on yourself and self-love first. Because watch what happens. If a breakup occurs with an intimate partner, and if we're focused on them loving us in order for us to feel happy, if they take their love away, we've left ourselves with nothing. Their love could have made us feel happy. Even though it's wonderful to have, we can't rely on external love to make us happy and know that it's no one else's responsibility to make you happy but yourself. It's up to you. So it's time to love you first. Focus on self-love first and guard it with your life. Say nice things to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Take care of yourself. Know that you are doing the best with what you have and most importantly, Love yourself first. I just wanted to read out of my book, Banish the Bitch and Bring Out the Babe, the categories of love, the four love buckets, just to elaborate a little bit more. So love of self, you are totally responsible for the love felt in this category. This is the primary type of love and your foundation for stability as a human being. Self-love relates to your self-confidence and your self-worth. When you love yourself, you accept yourself unconditionally. This is the only bucket that you can control personally. It's the only love that comes from within. It's the only love that you can always rely on. This is the love that you need to focus on first. Your self-love must be constantly reinforced and guarded with your life. Love from others. This love relates to social acceptance and validation. The more self-love and self-confidence you have, the less social acceptance you will seek or need. This love can be filled by face-to-face interaction, text messages, phone calls, and even through interaction on social media. It's about relationships and networking. 
It can include both friends and family. It's a love without intimacy. Love of an intimate partner. This is a love that's magnified between two people. Our intimate partner can make us feel certain, protected and safe, kind of like our parents did for us as children. This is a love that begins the foundation of a life for two people. This could be a love that's shared on a deep and spiritual level. This is a love of choice. Two people have chosen to be together to share life's experiences. This love can also be replaced or supplemented by a spiritual love, the love of God or a higher being. Love of children. This is where most people experience reciprocated, unconditional love. This, of course, can change as children get older. You love your child and they love you, regardless of what happens. Your children are a part of you. They are your blood. They are reliant on you. You are their support and they need you to survive. It's a connection and a bond like no other. For those who don't have children, this can also be felt deeply with pets. Remember that there will be tough times and taking care of yourself is a way to prepare your mind to get stronger. Imagine you are like a squirrel collecting his nuts. You are metaphorically collecting your nuts or storing up your energy and your strength so you can draw on them to get you through the winter. After all, sometimes you need big kahunas to get you through tough times. You need to build up the strength and collect the courage to do what needs to be done. You are mentally preparing for your mind to catch up. You can make your body go through the motions and before you know it, your mind will accept what's happening. And with that, that concludes our podcast for today. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below or you can contact us on any of our social media platforms. And I really hope you focus on loving you first. It's so important. If you'd like to sponsor the Lisa B Show, please contact us at lisabee.com.au. You have been listening to The Lisa B Show, where we talk about finding Mr. Right, the new rules of love, masculine and feminine energy, and all things women. To continue your journey with us, please find us at www.banishthebitch.com.